assalamu alaikum welcome to civil ideas so today we will discuss about the types of supports and real structures you may have studied about different types of supports during your engineering uh, that uh, there is uh, many types of supports like fixed support hand support roller support and there is also other types of supports but here we will discuss about the most important three types of supports uh, which is fixed support hand support and roller support so these are the uh, supports uh, which uh, we have studied during our engineering just the idealized form of uh, the supports but when we go to uh, the site construction site then we didn't understand that which type of support is hand and which is pen and which is fixed support we consider all the supports and the uh, structure is the fixed support but it's not like that so now we will discuss about the basic concepts of uh, this support in detail so first is the uh, fixed support so fixed support in rcc structure is, so this is a column uh, for rcc column which is uh, cost uh, up to this level and after we have fixed the reinforcement of the beam and uh, slabs then we will concrete it uh, monolithically with a column uh, simultaneously so what's the fixed support so we will discuss the fixed support as the fixed support as the, the detail you have to look upon the detail of the reinforcement and drawings that what structural engineer has uh, provided the detail of the support then the steel reinforcement detail has pro show you that their support is either is a hand or fix so this support when the ld ld is the development length development length is provided properly in the beam then it is fixed support because only that the, the tension taken by the reinforcement not the concrete you have just seen some supports like this this is the uh, column and beam this is the column beam joint so we, we have seen normal construction in any uh, rcc structure but it's not like that you have to uh, show the uh, you have to look upon the uh, reinforcement uh, and drawings and on site that if the proper uh, ld uh, development lane is provided and the, this concrete also should be a high stand concrete like m30 and m35 and so on so this concrete and reinforcement should be uh, verified that the support is fixed or hinge so this support is fixed because the reinforcement is probably provided because if you you provided uh, a load on this beam like this is a column and this is a beam if you provide a load or force on it so it holds the beam fix uh, the, the load transfer from the beam to the column it resist the uh, forces and the beam so this uh, forces and bending moment transfer to the column so this is the uh, fixed support but enhanced support now we will discuss in the area this is also a reinforcement now i will show you the fixed support and the uh, structural engineering book this is a structural engineering book and i will show you here so this is the also the second type of fixed support which i have drawn here i have drawn it so this is also the structure this is also the ld is provided on both sides so the beam must be uh, fixed uh, reinforcement must be embedded into the structure so the stru a proper uh, bond between concrete and reinforcement uh, should be uh, transferred from one another so the this is the effect support and the uh, effect support and steel structure as a steel structure you use this is a column this is the beam the i section beam and this these both are steel structures so now you have fixed the uh, the uh, beam to the column with bolts or weld but if you have provided the bolts uh, throughout the perimeter of the uh, uh, beam section then this is fixed support if you provide it all around the these bolts or throughout this weld then this is the fixed support like this this is the bolt this is the bolt a proper gusset plate is provided on upper and lower side so this is the fixed support otherwise it will be hand support we will discuss it here so i have shown you this is the fixed support this is a belt at the top and the middle it is bolted a proper stiffener is provided so this will be fixed because it will transfer the moment because it holds the uh, beam properly at uh, with the column so it transfer all the loads to the column 
now we will discuss about the hand support so hand support like in uh, normal rcc structures uh, normal res residential buildings the uh, inefficient uh, contractor has just uh, provided a reinforcement or there like this but they have not provided a proper development length or may provide it just to two or uh, three inches or uh, at some times they didn't provide and the concrete is also uh, a low quality like uh, the grade and the ratio is also uh, compared to the proper designing structure as very low so these types of supports didn't proper and these beams the loads uh, on these beams are properly not properly uh, transferred to the column because if you have just uh, uh, apply the loads like this so they it will not resist by this if you properly hold that then it will be transferred to it so in this is the, we will consider it as a hand support not fixed support otherwise 100 percent fixed support is very difficult to achieve either it is a uh, in this case or in that case but uh, in that case it is maybe uh, fixed support up to uh, maximum level and this this is the uh, hand support and steel structures we have seen here the hand support uh, fixed support and steel structure we have provided the weld or bolt throughout the, this and but here we will uh, provide just two bolts on the inner sides so it will not properly uh, hold the beam with the column so that's why it's not properly uh, transfer the moments to the column so these types of uh, beams are not proper designed for the uh, bending moments they just have the vertical forces taken or shear force taken uh, uh, elements so these are the hand supports or pen support and the third one is a roller support so roller support as you may have seen here like this is the uh, simply supported beam simply supported beam we have shown here and like we studied and during engineering this is the hands and this is the roller support we call it uh, simply supported uh, and this is the determiner structures why we call it uh, hand support like this is the girder this is the column this is the bridge this is the column and this is the girder and this is the bearing pad which the girder lies on it and now uh, if we uh, the vehicle moving on it the vehicle moving with some weights um, of it, some of its weight as the downward component and some of the weight makes the components uh, on the horizontal direction also but the you have seen that the uh, bridge or the and these uh, girder are not moving uh, along the horizontal uh, because uh, there, there is a friction there is sufficient friction and the vertical uh, gravity load that it cannot move so that's why we provide we show here an idealized structure this is the hand hand side like this and this is the roller side because why it is roller side because if we provide both sides as hinge and it will be fixed it, will, it cannot move uh, to the side uh, to the either side horizontally but <coughs> uh, practical uh, practically and uh, the stress is generated due to the environment like temperature uh, it will be bent like this if we consider both side is a hinge so it will not like that so it the they have provided a proper here a space between other girders here uh, three to four inches because it can uh, it release it releases this temperature uh, stresses on the, the either sides so that's why we consider the one side is the ruler so that ca it can move a little bit uh, due to temperature changes on uh, horizontally and the, the they cannot move uh, horizontally on the other side uh, due to the vehicle moving because if you provide both sides is a roller then a small amount of small component of uh, horizontal force will move uh, this bridge which is unstable structure so now and other type is also here shown in bridge this is also roller support you have you may have shown this is the roller support so this is another structure like industrial building type or maybe any so this is the shed provided or here or maybe a slip and transfer the load to the joists this is the eye section beams and just uh, we have just placed this on this girder or maybe pen jointed with that girder with that joist sorry and that joist uh, transfer the load to the this girder and this girder transfer the load to the column but this girder is just uh, placed on the this column like the bridges uh, simply supported girder so this is also the type of a roller support when we have just uh, placed this like this is the beam 
and we have just placed it like this so this is a simply support bin we consider the one side is a uh, hand support and the other is the roller support so that they can uh, resist all the forces horizontally and vertically so this is uh, three types of most important types of which is we are confused during the construction site uh, so now we, you may have uh, clear about this if you have any question kindly comment i will uh, clear about it so thank you see you in the next video